Hi everyone, today I will be doing a walkthrough of an oil painting I did of this pretzel. The colors I'll be using for this painting are listed here. I chose these colors based on the fact that there are a lot of warm tones in this image and I'll be breaking down the mixing of those colors throughout the video. The medium I'm using is Galkid Light and for brush cleaning I'll be using safflower oil. Here I'm using a hardboard and wood painting panel that came primed and gessoed. I'm toning the panel as part of the underpainting process um, and I'm using acrylic paint and water. This helps me see my values a bit more accurately instead of painting directly on bright white. So now I'm roughly drawing the outline of the objects in the photo using the envelope method of drawing. Uh, so I'm kind of boxing in the main shapes and using a sighting rod to help check my angles and proportions. What I'm doing isn't super precise, but depending on your style, you can use whatever tools work for you in terms of drawing and the look that you're trying to achieve. Acrylic paint dries very fast, so make sure to wait until it's totally dry before going in with oil. For me, it took about 20 minutes for each acrylic paint layer to dry. Now that I have a rough underpainting, I'm going to start the background. Um, I'm mixing ultramarine blue with titanium white to start off, and a combination of ivory black and more ultramarine blue to darken it for the shadows. Keep in mind that using pure black should not be the go-to way of darkening a color, because sometimes that can make a color muddy and inaccurate. A little bit of our Hansa yellow medium here to start on the bottle. For the pretzel itself, I'm using a mixture of burnt sienna, cadmium red medium, and Hansa yellow medium. As an artist, it will take time to train your eye to match colors. Um, I'm still learning myself, but practice makes perfect. Here I am painting in my lighter values and darker values. Sometimes, especially when you let your layers dry between painting sessions, you'll find that you need to make adjustments to colors you've already painted. Um, don't be afraid of this, it's going to happen. Tweaking tones is always going to be a part of the process. Just be patient and take your time and trust your eyes. For super fine detailing like the specks of salt, I find it super helpful to use a very, very fine tipped brush. One thing I'm realizing here is that I don't want to use just white for the salt. There are more muted specks on the pretzel skin, so I'm going to use white mixed with some yellow and red. The mustard bottle was a bit of a challenge because yellow has a tendency to want to become green when mixed. So to get the varying tones of yellow in the bottle, I played around with combinations of yellow, red, and tiny specks of blue at a time. Using some white very gently to put in some of those highlights. And there we have it, our pretzel painting. I will let this dry in a closed and dust-free place like a drawer and varnish it once it's dried to the touch. Thanks for joining me. Looking forward to painting with you again soon.